Hey guys, this is just going to be a vlog on my Toshiba CRT setup. I've had many great movie nights and gaming nights on this thing. I'm going to miss it so much, but I'm making the jump to Blu-ray. And as you can see here, we're all having lots of fun playing the Xbox or GameCube or I'm watching movies with this. It's been a great setup. Um, this has been a wonderful TV for me for about eight years maybe and I bought this at the time when um, CRT was about to run its course and the major net major TV or television producers were making their masterpieces on CRT CRT was really refined then and going uh, the way of the dodo and so I jumped in when the when t the the um, outlets were just trying to get rid of them and I picked up the Toshiba one over the Panasonic and Sony, which were both very good TVs as well. I think this TV was about six grand when it first came out, you know, and I got mine for 2000, or just over or just under 2000. Um, probably the, one of the best setups you can get for DVD specifically. Um, but I'm making the jump to Blu-ray. Here's just a closer look at it. We got the Yamaha receiver. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any HDMI inputs or outputs, so... I'm going to have to upgrade that bad boy as well. These are um, uh, spaces for accessories. A really good wall unit, this. I can fit all my accessories and gaming consoles in there. and still room for more. There was a VHS machine there. Oh, and that's a Marantz DVD player. Uh, that's a really good one. I got it really cheap off a friend. Kept in very good condition. Um, again, a very good wall unit. I can fit so much on there. Um, there's the CR, uh, there's a Toshiba CRT uh, 36 SW9UA. There's my Batman Kiyosami figurines decorated there. My brother plays Protoss, so he had to buy Zeratul there. i got to get Kerrigan up there as well. There's Darth Maul. There's the Hellboy Special Collector's ed Edition toy from Hellboy 2 by Guillermo del Toro. There's Batman from some movie called The Dark Knight or Batman Begins. Oh, and look at the size of that thing. That is huge. That thing's like 80 kilograms. Um, pain, a real pain to move it around, but it's big, never tires, so you know it's good. This is just a close-up of the BMW 600 series front speakers that I use. Um, uh, big guns never tire, so I hope to use this well into the Blu-ray days. Blu-ray will probably be the last of the hardware, as Oliver Stone said. There's a shot of my um, ASW 600, um, what do you call it, subwoofer. <laughs> There's my receiver. Um, lots and lots of cables going everywhere. Component cables, um, v VHS cables going in. I think they're RCA, they're called. As you can see, the TV only has two um, component inputs, no HDMI, unfortunately. And the component, one set goes directly from the DVD player and another set goes directly from the receiver. Um, I, I could use very high level quality cables, silver cables there. Oh, it's getting really dusty in there. Um, and here we go with the um, cables directly from the speakers, silver cables into the um, receiver. I didn't bother with the surrounds. And there's the beautiful Toshiba. Oh, there's Buzz and Woody. They're the ori original Buzz and Woody dolls from, um, you know, that are based off the TV show. <sighs> Um, oh, this is the catalog that's um, of the uh, television sets. I don't know how many of you guys do this, but I tend to get the catalog that the product is based on. So, you know, you keep the propaganda and, it, you know, you get more appreciation for the product if you have these things. It just sort of reminds you of how good that product was when you bought it if you get the propaganda. You know, every time I pick up an old Nintendo box or a PS2 box um, and I look at all the back and I just remind myself of how great that product was back in the day. And, you know, you look at this catalog and you, it really tells you of how reminds you of how great this product really was back in the day and all the talk about its digital hyper ability and all the rest of it. it's a beautiful looking television um, set this is the B&W catalog Bose and Wilkins catalog really nice catalog the first couple of pages show the high-end products my gosh I'll never afford those in a million years there's a Skywalker um, editing room there my gosh, look at that rich special setup. This is the setup I try to base mine off in as much as possible. Um, as you can see, you got the 600 ones fronts and the CRT setup in the lounge. So I try to base mine on that one as much as humanly possible. Obviously, mine isn't as neat as that. Um, and yeah, I look over these speakers just to remind myself of how good they are again. And there's another sim similar setup to what I got. Yeah, so... 
I don't know. I I, I tend to like to uh, to keep these things and look over it because when new products come out, you know, you sort of get that down feeling. Oh, but it's not the latest thing. And you know, if you go over, uh, you know, I'll probably get the same feeling with the iPhone. <laughs> Just looking over at com- old commercials, of the iPhone. Well, here's my there's my setup. The um the old CRT. Um, I'll just discuss the bad points of it I guess um, it just doesn't look good online like I've hooked this up I think to an Apple television and it just didn't look good online browsing through YouTube or anything like that or browse uh, or websites it just looked terrible so it doesn't have that versatility it, for what it's built for DVDs it is perfect it's one of the best um, TVs you can get just for DVDs the colors are excellent the viewing angles you can view it from any angle and it'll, you know you won't lose any color or anything like that it's a really good set. I'm going to miss it heaps. We had great movie nets. Oh, there's a shot of my GameCube there. Um, I love the GameCube, one of my favorite consoles of all time. And, oh, well, that's us playing the Xbox. <laughs> I couldn't get a shot of us playing uh, the GameCube. I'm going to miss this setup. I'm moving to CRT. I have no idea where I'm going to put that front speaker, that big monstrous front speaker. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to miss this setup heaps. Um, moving over to LED, plasma or LCD. I'm... I'm leaning more towards LED but this was one of the best setups that you could get for um for DVDs and I, I don't regret the purchase um so I guess this video is more for me just as a celebration of, as the as all the fun times it brought me <laughs> thanks guys um check out my um podcast um with David Farrell at www.podmeifyoucan.com links will be at the bottom and you can check out all my other videos as well on this web uh, on this channel or on the website haleystales.com okay thanks guys all the best